Hey, what's up guys? Really, really exciting news here. If you haven't heard already, SPI and StudioPress partnered together to create what's called the SPI Pro theme. It's a WordPress theme that you can install on your site that'll make your site look awesome and work beautifully. It's the theme that I used between 2013 and 2016. So many people actually asked me for this theme and I wanted to distribute it. I really, really did, but I know that creating a theme for distribution is just a new business model in and of itself because you have to keep these themes updated, supported, there are all the compatibility issues with potential plugins and updates of WordPress and all this, all those kinds of things. I just did not have uh, the, the capacity to do that. Well, I partnered with StudioPress, which is owned by Brian Clark over at Copy Blogger and also Rainmaker Digital, and he decided to help out. And he and I formed a partnership where we can get you this theme. And he and I work together I design the theme, he supports it. So Studio Press, they do all the customer service, they help you get it set up. And actually, I'm very, very proud of what we've been able to do together because so often people ask, well, what's the best theme out there? Well, this is what I feel the best theme that for those of you who are just starting out should use to grow your brand, build your authority, build your email list and start to begin selling stuff online. So I'm gonna walk you through a demo of the theme right now and just show you exactly how easy it is to use and why you should get it. All right, and welcome to trumpetsforsaletoday.com. This is an old, old niche site that I used for experimentation way back in the day uh, to test a few things. And this is not the SPI Pro theme. This is a free theme that was available at the time. The SPI Pro theme looks like this. This is the theme, uh, a demo that you can actually play with right now on Studio Press. Now the link to the theme, if you wanna get it and go through my affiliate link, that is smartpassiveincome.com slash SPI theme. Again, that'll take you to a page where you can then dem uh, check out the demo and do some other cool things. Now, after you purchase, you're gonna go to your member downloads area. I'm gonna show you how quickly and easy this is to install. Um, I have all the themes here because you know you can either pay for the entire library, but you can also just pay just for the Smart Passive Income Pro theme. Um, and what StudioPress does is they put the Genesis framework into place here, which makes it really easy to customize and add new things to your to your theme here. They have hundreds of themes, uh, but the SPI Pro theme is the one I would recommend and I love. So to download that, you just click on this cloud, and then when you set it up, here's what you do. Click on theme setup here in the back end of StudioPress after you get access, and it will literally walk you through step-by-step -step how to customize it, how to create all these things. I'll show you some of the things when I change over trumpetsforsaletoday.com, um, but I won't go through all of it, but this is some of the best um, text that you could find for any for how to set up anything. I've never seen a tutorial so well put together, and again, it'll show you exactly how to set this theme up. But I'm just gonna show you really quickly how, how it's done. So currently, the simple folio theme is the one that's active. When you install this theme, you need to make sure that the Genesis Framework theme is there that comes with your purchase. So don't activate that one. What you activate is the SPI Pro theme after you install it. So after you install it, you click Activate, and I'm going to get back over here and reset, and it's not gonna look like that other one because there's a few things we need to do beforehand. But it's kind of, it, you can tell that it's a framework and we're getting ready to set things up. So I'm gonna go back to Manage Themes, and there's a few areas you wanna you want to take note of. There's the Genesis sort of overall theme settings, which is which are here. You enter your feeds and define where what your layout is and how you want things to work across the whole site. But where you really have a lot of power here with the Genesis framework and Studio Press is when you go to Appearance and then click on Customize. This is where a lot of cool things can happen. So, and the beauty of this is you're able to see these changes as you go. So there's a few things you can do really quickly. You can change uh, some colors and stuff, and you won't even see that now because some of the stuff that has colors aren't even enabled. So I'll show you how to create things like navigation menus really quick that, again, look similar to what you see here. Um, and if you scroll down, I mean, you get featured posts, you get a footer area, uh, and, and other some other cool things here too. Again, all of this is in the knowledge base here in StudioPress after you purchase the theme. Now to make a navigation menu, you just want to go to menus. Uh, so we'll add a menu here, we'll call it uh, header navigation, we'll create the menu, and then we'll put, this we'll put this menu after the header menu and then have it automatically show top level pages. Now nothing's showing up yet because we haven't added any items yet. So let's do that right now. Let's add home, let's add blog, let's do the trumpets for sale page and the about page. So you'll see it actually automatically show up on the right hand side. 
which is really cool. Let's also add the contact form in there. And let's put the about page up uh, close to the top. There. So now if we were to save and publish this, if I refresh this page here, you should see those menu items show up. So already you could start to see it form right in front of your eyes, which is really cool. So going back to customizations, let's add a footer menu and you can make it the same menu if you'd like, or you can make it a different one. But let's add a new one and call it footer. Footer. Ah, can't do this. Footer navigation, uh, let's do footer menu. And yep, we need to add more items there. So for the bottom, let's do, uh, let's do categories. Let's do use trumpets for sale, box trumpets, and uh, cheap trumpets for sale. And you should see them show up centered on the bottom there. So let's save and publish this, and I'll refresh, and you'll start to see the bottom part show up nicely like that. Now there's some other cool parts of this theme that are really interesting. Uh, for example, you could in include certain descriptions underneath the navigation items if you'd like. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that right now. This featured section is really nice. This is actually on smartpassiveincome.com that I incorporated into the new design. This uh, getting started button is one of the most important pieces because this drives the most traffic to the most popular page because this is the call to action that you want people to take. And so typically I recommend people, you recommend, I recommend people to dis discover what it is that you want your audience to do when they arrive on your homepage. Well, that's what you want this button to do sort of in the hero section of your site. So to do that, you're gonna actually have to do a couple of things. First of all, you're gonna have to find or use a, a background image. Now I'm just gonna use the uh, the one that's that's there already. You could see here back in the demo, it's using that same one right there. And then now we need to just add this text on here. Now it doesn't show up in the uh, in in the space here until you start to add a widget in front of it. So that's the cool thing about this. You can add widgets on many different parts of your website. So if I were to go to uh, front page top. I can add certain things there, and that would cor correspond with, if you go to, uh, let's see, front page top widget area, it would show you that that's this bar right here, and that's where you could uh, customize those items. If I were to go back here, um, actually, one of the cool things you can do uh, is your front page layout. Click on that in the knowledge base, and it'll actually highlight for you one, two, three, four, five, how to do that. So number two is what we're gonna be interested in creating right now, and to finish off, I'll do number five there. And then of course, like I said, you can just follow these directions to add these other things. But number two, we're gonna go uh, front page two, full width widget area with one text widget configured to display a text uh, with a button linked to another page on the site. So to do this, again, this shows you exactly how to do it, which is really cool. So we'll go to Appearance and Widgets and add a text widget to this area, to, to front page two. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go back to Customize, front page two, add a widget, and it said add a text widget there. So I'm going to add a text widget. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and follow the directions here. Uh, two, add content. Now what's really cool is they also provide some of the dummy content that you can copy and paste into here too. So you should see it pop up almost immediately. There you go. Oh, I don't know why it says view raw there. I probably copy and pasted something else, but that should remove itself and boom. You can customize that incredibly quickly and easily. Uh, so I'm going to automatically add paragraphs, which I believe will space this out. There we go. And save and publish. So now I'm going to refresh this. Now it should change from the static page to this more beautiful looking home page. And of course, I haven't spent time on the copy yet related to trumpets, but I'll get to that later and I'll redo this, this website. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you was going back to the front page layout, uh, this part number five here, the featured content. So number five, you go to the widget called front page four. So let's click on that one, let's close this one. And this shows you exactly how to do that. So under the front page four area, you use uh, the featured post widget, it says, okay. So let's do that, let's go back here. Front page four, add a widget. Genesis featured post, I'm gonna click on that, see if that does anything already. Let's add uh, four posts. Let's make sure that we show the, ti the post title. Let's also show a featured image. And why don't we make sure the image is uh, not aligned to the, well, I guess you could align it to the right if you'd like. Let's see what that looks like. You can have it done like that or like this. 
And you can choose specific categories if you want to. So if I wanted to just be the cheap trumpets for sale category, these would likely change. Well, there was only one of those, I guess. So I'll just put all, all categories for now. And I'm going to save and publish and refresh the page. And look at that. So you can see this is a very, very easy to use website, relatively speaking, when it comes to a website of this kind of caliber. So a lot of these websites that look like this, a lot of times you have to go to the back end and use CSS and do HTML, and the settings aren't always very simple. But this is the power of the partnership between SPI and StudioPress. Not only that, you get the support as, from the from the Studio Press community and their technical team. They're the ones that help put this together and they've done it in a very, very good way. And of course, as you can see, they help walk you through the in entire process too. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on Trumpets for Sale uh, today because, uh, I mean, it's, it's, get, it's getting there, but there's a few more things you can do. And again, those are all shown in the demo here. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the demo, and I'm I'm excited to share this with you. Hundreds of people have gotten it already. Uh, there's a person named Bob who used it on this website. He kept some of the same colors. Actually, let me show you how to change the colors really quick. Uh, it should be very simple. So if you go back here, change colors. Let's let's say you don't like the red, but you want to use um, like a blue like that, uh, and then your your button color maybe you want it to stand out more, so you'd make it red. So very simple to change like that. Uh, Bob over here from Do The Woo Podcast, he talks about WooCommerce, which is really cool. He's, he was able to incorporate the smart podcast player there too. You could see him using his custom navigation menu items there, his custom image behind there. He also drives people to iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and Google Play. And there's a picture of him down there where you can learn more. And some of his featured posts with the images much larger than, than mine were. And then also another call to action here at the bottom. So great job, Bob. Thanks again. He wrote a nice review of the... Uh, SPI Pro theme too. And like I said, hundreds of other people are using it as well. So I hope you enjoy. Super sweet, right? Very easy to set up and I know you're gonna love it. So if you have a WordPress site and you're just not happy with the way your theme looks or you're just getting started right now, get set up on a theme that will work for you. And you can find it at smartpassiveincome.com slash SPI theme. So again, smartpassiveincome.com slash SPI theme. It is a premium theme, but it also comes with all the amazing support from the guys over at Studio Press and it's only a one-time fee. So pay once, you got it forever. So check it out, smartpassiveincome.com slash SPI theme. Looking forward to seeing your example, and if you have an example, share it in the comments below. I know hundreds of people have gotten it already, and you can be one of those two and customize it in your own special way.